Hello, my suburban nights. How are y'all doing today? Okay, so I'm going to make this little disclaimer. It is so windy in Florida right now. And it's been raining off and on because apparently something with the snowstorms and the weather up north is bringing whatever that is down here. But it's showing up through the wind and rain and supposedly around four or five o'clock, the wind is going to be completely out of control and so is the rain. So I'm trying to do this now so that everyone is all set with my video for today. So we are going to look at Little Miss learning to be fearless because she uploaded today. And I haven't watched it, so what we're going to do is watch it together. Let's go. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today, we're going to sit down, chit-chat, hang out, Sash. As we all know, it is a new year. Thank gosh. 2023 was full of so many hard moments so many beautiful moments a lot of growth and i wanted to sit down and talk about some things that got me through 2023 some growth from 2023 and then she my grew. goals and she definitely grew. i want to feel calm at peace and Her grateful with where grew. i'm at and exercise is a massive part of that for me that i've really noticed a difference doing this for a year and i've logged can I speed Good her? Meditate. Oh, man, I didn't mean like speed her up like that. Got me through 2023. Some growth. Let me pause this because I really just need to. Am she, are you sped up? Nope, you're at normal. We're going to speed you up some. We got to because you're talking too much. And I got to hurry up and get through this because I got shit to do. All right, here we go from 2023 and then my goals and plan for 2024. Honestly, the theme of this video for me is health and that is mental, you physical, uh, emotional, uh, spiritual, everything. And I want to share- no, she ought to cut it out. Al Alex, Alex, hello, woo -hoo. Alex, no. No, you ought to cut it out. You ought to stop. You, you aren't doing any of the above. We have watched you for years. We all know this or what, like I said, I implemented last year and my plans for this year. So first I have a bunch of notes on my phone because I've kind of been like tracking over the last year and just reflecting recently on 2023. You guys know I share my life here and the biggest overall change that I made for myself in 2023 was consistent exercise. We're gonna talk a lot about mental health as well, but first and foremost, I wanna talk about how I, for the first time in my life, stuck to a workout routine for an entire year consistently. Like actually it's a huge, huge thing for me. It's probably the biggest thing I'm proud of with myself from 2023. Um, and it's all thanks to the sponsor this video co-pilot i have been working with co -Pilot now for like i said actually I over a year now using there ain't no effing way let me tell you something if this woman is not getting paid to do it you can bet your ass that it is not being done because it's something that she wants to do because she's a great person or even a good person because she's not and we all know that we all no, Alex, Alex, I caught you. I caught you. I was the first one to catch you. Okay, 10 minutes, 11 minutes tops. If you want to count your little, you know, when Bruni was licking you in the mouth and, you know, you were doing those half ass stretches. Okay, girl. Okay, you was consistent. 10 minutes every day. Okay. Oh, chai. Gee, whatever. Keep talking using their app consistently three times a week, working with my personal trainer, Leslie. This is not my first video about co-pilots, but um, oh, Leslie, wow, they have really up. changed my life when it comes Leslie, to exercise. My hand. entire life, I have always been a bigger person. I have always looked at exercise in honestly a pretty negative way, kind of a shameful way, kind of a way to always just get skinny. That was always just the thing for me. And as I've gotten older and more confident with myself and just my appearance, I've learned to shift my mindset to exercise for so much more. Like it is not about losing weight for me anymore. It is just about being healthy in the body that I'm in and working out consistently oh, last year. I've seen so no, many changes. No. And I tracked them. Stop it. Stop it with the whole bullshit about it's not about your weight anymore. It is about your girl. Your weight is a direct reflection of everything that's going wrong with you. That's why you ain't got no knees. That's why your back always fucking hurting. You know what I'm saying? Because you're too big. My, I'm too big too, okay? What is it about us fat chicks 
that like to say, oh, we lost 100 pounds and as if that's it and that's all. No, I lost 100 pounds too, but guess what? I need to lose 100 more because my ass is still fucking fat and so are you. It's not over with yet. It's not done. You're not done. You need to think about how many pounds your big ass is. Because listen, if I'm 250, your ass is a good 3, 315, 320. And, and that's facts right there. That's just facts. But whatever. Go ahead. Go off. Keep talking. I'm on my phone just noticing how I feel differently. I've had so many non-scale victories over this last year, um, whether you it's going up the stairs more comfortably, whether victory. it's bringing up all the Christmas decorations more comfortably. I remember I vlogged about that and it was such an exciting moment for me because I always dreaded bringing up all the holiday decor from the basement because it's heavy. Going up the stairs, like I was just like, oh my God, I'm gonna be so winded. And like, as I was doing it, I was like, this is so much easier now. All these little moments were just easier seeing a hill somewhere i'm like oh my gosh i don't dread it anymore like i just feel so much stronger in my muscles in my heart in my lungs breathing is easier just so so much well, of a difference in my Lord. physical feelings um outside of the number on the scale and then outside of my physical health a huge part of the changes i've noticed are just a more overall sense of calmness when i on the days i work out and one of my goals for 2024 is to even work out more in 2023 oh, i did uh three workouts a week consistently like mm -hmm. hardly missed any except when i was like sick but with my wait a minute now we know you're not about to do that it work out more. You are already struggling <laughs> with the two or three days that you do now, Alex. Alex, Alex, you're not fooling anyone. No, you know what? I will say one thing nice though. You know, you look really nice right now, and you have seen to have gotten your makeup together, and it looks really, really cute. And that dark blue on you, you killing it. You killing the game, girl. You look good with that. I'm going to tell you what don't look good, though. Your urinal in the back there, because I got to tell you, it now it's like shooting out green pea. I don't know. It just looks really weird. Maybe get some flowers that stand up in it. Maybe get a different color. I don't know. It's just weird. Whatever. Whatever. Keep talking. My co-pilot journey. I'll tell you more about co-pilot in a minute if you want to know, but it's helped me stay so accountable and connected and consistent. Um, having that coach like that I'm personally involved with, who I love. I love my coach. But on the days that I didn't go to the gym, most days, weather permitting, um, I'll take the dog for a walk as well. But on top of that, I would love to add in some cardio days, a little bit more movement, even at home, because we have weights, we have an elliptical. So I just find that the days I work out, I feel a lot more like calm. And one of the biggest things for me for 2024 that I want to bring into this year um, is calm. I've talked about it a lot recently in vlogs um, and just how the biggest thing for me this year is being happy and at peace and calm with where I'm at right now as I am in um, a TTC period of my life waiting for this next chapter. I want to feel calm, at peace, and grateful with where I'm at. And exercise is a massive part of that for me. I've really noticed a difference doing this for a year. And I vlog my life consistently. I share myself at the gym. And it's just really become a part of my routine at this point. Copilot. Let's talk about Copilot. This is what I use. It was actually really cute. At the end of the year, um, they had like all your stats for the year that popped up. So in 2023, you lifted 1,200,000 pounds, which was cool. Uh, you exercised almost 8,000 minutes, uh, completed 172 workouts. You and your coach exchanged almost 300 messages. Oh my gosh, I lifted almost 1.3 million pounds and that puts me in the top 3% of co-pilot clients. That was really cool. Um, so yeah, this year I got in a really great groove with my coach on Mondays. We did upper body at Wednesday, lower blah, blah, on Friday. Blah, blah, we blah, blah. Body. She'll sprinkle in like new stretches for me. Look stretches are insane. massively important. I never used to care about stretching because it was always just about cardio and losing weight. And that was just always my mindset. I feel like that was just drilled into us as because a generation. When I grew up, it was about cardio and calories. And it's funny because when I girl, your mother is type one diabetic. Okay. Everyone knows that sometimes these things can be genetic. You are overweight. Your mother already has these issues. You are like, you hit the genetic lottery with this one. Stop telling us that about your little stupid ass non-scale victories to make yourself look, um, feel good because we're looking at you and you are visibly bigger than you were right now than you were at the start of last year so what's up with that if you have been to i guess the gym as much as you say you've been doing you've been following co-pilot you've been watching what you've been eating and all. okay if at the very least you would have stayed the same but no ma'am cupcake your ass is gaining weight 
that and that is the problem. You're gaining. You're not look. You're gaining. And see, that's the problem. That is the problem. Started. Um, I told my coach. You know, I talked. You talk to them in depth at first. So you're assigned a coach um, on this app, and you can talk to them anytime. They will guide you through your workouts, be in your ears and your headphones, track it with your Apple Watch. When you first sign up, you chat with them for a while, um, like on a on a little Zoom, and get to know each other. And they'll ask about your current routine. And I told oh. her, I was like, I've gone to the gym like my whole life because I've always been overweight, and oh, I just love, love it, cardio. I'm a cardio person, wow. and it was just my mindset that was limiting me. Because as I started to consistently work out with my coach Leslie, um, she was like, I think you like strength training. <laughs> I would message her and be like, I love this, like. I love doing strength you and that was just never strength. a priority for me. And I've cardio. noticed the more I've put into my strength, the easier daily activities have become. Of course, I still do. We do 30 minutes of cardio and about 30 minutes of strength and then stretching okay. for my workouts. But it's just funny, the mindset shift of working out for things beyond your weight and what a shift it will do. Oh. And I know being a bigger person online, I'm still going to be subjected to criticism for even talking about this because it's just the way it goes when you're bigger and you talk about any yeah, form of health. But I hope that if anyone's out there stop, watching, stop, you can- Stop, 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 stop. Nobody is talking to you about this shit because you're bigger people are talking about you because your big ass has had the gastric sleeve okay and then you had chin lipo and then you had a full ass tummy tuck okay and then you turned your big ass right back the fuck around and had gastric bypass surgery that is why everybody is looking at you sideways that is why all of these reaction channels keep popping up hell that's why i'm fucking here because you are lying you are a liar you are a binge eater admit it admit it admit it alex alex no one cares that you're fat and talking about this we're annoyed with you because you're fat and saying that you're doing the right things but you keep getting bigger get your fucking facts straight okay because we sick of this shit bitch now what you're not gonna do is play on the suburbanized intelligence okay you wilding right now you are wilding you wildly out of control Okay, if you want to talk about this, you want to sit down, you know what I'm saying, with your little Susie Homemaker haircut and your little blue crispy shirt and your fucking Miranda Fry, you let it tell the goddamn truth. And the truth is that your ass is a scamming ass, lying ass bitch. But whatever, go ahead, keep talking. And understand and relate um, and see hope that you can have an awesome relationship with exercise and movement. And it doesn't have to just be the gym. Your co-pilot trainer can connect you with workouts you can do at home, body weight workouts, whether you want to include hiking, taking walks, there's just, there's endless possibilities and your trainer will make it attainable for you. As someone who works from home, I told my trainer, I'm like, I want to go to the gym. Like I like to have an option to work out from home, but most of the time I want to go physically to a location, be around people and work out there. But the options are you better endless. Stop lying. So I have just had an awesome lying. year. You better stop lying because you have told us for years that you like to be in the house by 4 p.m. because you don't like to be around other people, Alex. Now you stop your fucking lying and you got rid of all of your friends and the only reason your big ass brought two of them back was because you were watching all of the blogs talk about how all of your friends mysteriously just disappeared. Quit lying. All you want to do is make subpar content, make money off of it, take all of your subscribers' money and shop online. Stop your fucking lying with my trainer and that is something I want to really take into 2024. You can always switch coaches if you don't like connect with yours but you know oh, I've been with Leslie for an entire year now. She was there with me through my miscarriage. She's there with me for holidays, saying hi, checking in on me. Like it's so personal and it helps so much to keep you accountable. I really love that aspect of it because I'm someone who also so now that I'm finally in a routine of working out, it's easier for me to continue. But before it was always hard, harder for me to like stay consistent because I would follow just like, you know, YouTube videos or like a workout plan online or just kind of do whatever. But then that's really easy to just slip away from because you don't have anyone. I'm someone who needs like an accountability partner who Alex, needs someone to push me Alex, and be there for me. And also when you get your training, you fill out a thing too. And just like, do you like to be more um, pushed? Do you like gentle? Shut up. All of it is hard for you because you don't want to fucking do it. You don't want to do it period. You don't want to do it, exclamation mark. You don't want to do it. That's why it's hard. Because some people can't afford to go to the goddamn gym. So guess what, bitch? They turn on YouTube, find free videos, and dedicate that time to just working out from home because that's all they can afford to do.
you have been avoided everything and you still sitting your big ass up here in 2000 and goddamn 24 and lying to everybody's face as if we ain't on to you bitch and also we know we know we know that the only reason that you're doing this shit right now is because co-pilot has you know sponsored you they don't cut you a little chick girl and so you doing what you're doing so that you can keep your man your man you got to make sure you can pay him Okay, whatever. All right, keep talking. Gentle, so they really match you with someone that's gonna vibe with you and your needs. But of course, like I said, you can change coaches. But um, yeah, Copilot's been a massive part of my 2023, and I have no intention of stopping using their program. I'm gonna use it forever. <laughs> and back when I did uh, yeah, get pregnant this year, before I miscarried, you know, I told my coach, and she actually adjusted my workouts for pregnancy safe. So it's it's just great. You know, it's a really amazing program. You guys can expect my Copilot a 14 day free trial and 20 percent off your minute. first. Wait a fucking minute. I know, I know you fucking lying. Pregnancy safe so that they are pregnancy. Bitch, you need to do all the shit that they telling you that you need to do and some before your big ass get pregnant. I tell you what, my cousin, her name is Chaprell Dallas, okay? She is a bodybuilder, weightlifter, and trainer. She's been doing it for over 30 years now. She is in her 50s. Her husband is in his 60s, and they look fucking amazing. She wrote a book called Stand Fit Before, During, and After Pregnancy. Read that book, bitch, because whatever they're telling you, no, 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 no. You just want to do as least as possible to keep the masses off your ass. But guess what, bitch? We here. We on that ass. We on your ass, Alex. Alex. We're on your ass, Alex. We on you. Whatever. Keep talking. First month of personalized fitness if you sign up before February 1st. You can try it for 14 days, try it for free, see if you like it. It's um, a really solid price compared to personal training in person because I've done that before as well. But try it for the 14 days for free, see if you vibe with it. Um, and I think you'll really enjoy it because I really have. So that's been my biggest thing for 2023 and bringing into 2024 in terms of the physical. Now, talking about mental health, I have talked a lot about mental health on the channel and also recently about my intentions for 2024. So I hope this video, we can kind of chat in the comments as well about intentions for 2024. Um, I love people doing the ins and outs right now on Instagram. So I posted mine as well. And a lot of these have to do with mental health. So these are my ins and outs for 2024. So um, the biggest thing for me is relaxing without guilt. I am diagnosed with anxiety. I naturally kind of just go, 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 go. So I don't have to overthink or drown in my thoughts. Um, it's definitely something I am working on, giving myself permission to relax without feeling guilty in the back of my mind. Like, oh, I could be doing something right now, especially as someone who works for a walk as well. Pause. You feel guilty. God damn it. I already I went back and I wasn't supposed to. Shit. Anyways, while I'm finding this spot, you feel guilty, Alex, because your ass sits on your ass all day and we know it and you know it too. And that is why you feel guilty about sitting down. But here's a thought. Ding dong. When you're lounging around all fucking day and all fucking goddamn night. Don't record it. Don't show people. They'll never know. But no, you get your big ass out here and you record yourself being lazy all goddamn day and watch the TV shows all day long and then get mad at us good suburbanite people when we call you out of your bullshit. But whatever, go off the channel and also recently about my intentions for 2024. So I hope this video, we can kind of chat in the comments as well about intentions for 2024. Um, I love people doing the ins and outs right now on Instagram. So I posted mine as well. And a lot of these have to do with mental health. So these are my ins and outs for 2024. So um, the biggest thing for me is relaxing without guilt. I am diagnosed with anxiety. I naturally kind of just go, 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 go. So I don't have to overthink or drown in my thoughts. Um, it's definitely something I am working on, giving myself permission to relax without feeling guilty in the back of my mind. Like, oh, I could be doing something right now, especially as someone who works for themselves, works from home. I'm always like, what can I be doing right now? There's more I can be doing. So relaxing without guilt is a huge one for me. And when I posted this, I saw some of you guys say as well, you have a hard time relaxing without feeling guilty. That's so this year, give yourself space it. to not feel guilty for rest when you need it. Another huge oh thing for God. me is a calm morning routine. I've talked about this a lot in vlogs where I've always been a get up and go get up and go. And then by like 12 or one, I'm just like, I'm crashed. I'm, I'm done. Then I end up getting so tired. <laughs> I end up relaxing because I'm so tired and I feel kind of like I'm earning away. And then I get a little anxious Alex. by like a couple hours Alex. of like relaxing. Alex, Alex, woohoo. Children are 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
you you don't have any children and you don't have a job where you have to actually get up and go somewhere and then walk around these people's job and then the boss getting on your fucking nerves. Bitch, you are your own boss. Stop it. Stop it. We watch you do your job every day that you post a vlog. And most days, it's sitting in your house, laying on the couch, watching TV or wa watching Apple TV. Girl, miss me with this bullshit, okay? Whatever, but keep talking. And then I just, it's just like a cycle of like, go, 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 burn out. Go, 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 burn out. So, um... A calm morning routine has been crucial for me. Um, gratitude journaling in the morning, reading in the morning, staying in my robe for a little bit. And I know that I'm very lucky. I'm in a space in my life okay, with my job and just where I'm at right now that I'm able to do that. So I know that's a huge blessing. But if you're able to create a little bit more time, wake up a little earlier just to take a calm morning, it sets the tone for the whole day, especially getting back into meditation. Um, my husband got me an aura ring for uh, Christmas and they have meditation on here. And I am getting back into meditating because okay. I kind of fell off of it last year. And it was a big part of my wellness routine for a long time. It helps to calm my mind tremendously. I really like the Headspace app. If you don't really know where to start with well, a bunch of other ones on YouTube, but I find that it helps to bring you to mindfulness. I never understood mindfulness until I started meditation and focusing cool. on breathing and clearing those thoughts. The biggest thing for me, it was in Headspace. They tell you about how when the clouds go by, it's like, it's a thought. Like you don't have to like, your thoughts are not you. Sometimes your thoughts are just there to like entertain you. You don't have to get freaked out by them. You don't have to give them attention. Mm -hmm. You just look at each thought as a passing cloud Listen passing it. by your sky and bring you back to the calm. Oh, it there it is. Like, don't give attention to the bad thoughts. That so meditation is huge and that will bring you to mindfulness. Also making more time for fun this year. Um, Yara and I, we always prioritize date nights, but we usually just like either go out to dinner or like order food and watch a movie, but we want to start doing more activity date nights. I think it's great for your mental health to prioritize fun Good. activities and outings with friends or family or even by yourself, a solo date night, go to the movies, go on a hike, go somewhere new, yeah. take a drive go to a place you've never been, prioritize activities for you and oh. your loved ones. Another big thing that goes in with mental health is tidiness. I know when I'm going through a funky time when like our bedroom starts to get messy or the kitchen, like, cause I love to tidy up. I am naturally a tidier. Also, I can't, it's still very long. Yeah, I like it so starting to do a nightly tidy up, never go to bed with dishes in the sink. I like to organize the pillows and blankets before bed so when i come downstairs the island is clean the space is open and clean and i feel ready for a new day and that calm morning routine we're definitely also going to be doing some organization vlogs so make sure you subscribe because i need to do a nice clean out i feel like that's always great for a new year go through your closet if you have not worn it this last year please just donate it i promise Girl, you i tell you what about this i want to purge and organize the closet the pantry the fridge a nice deep clean it just i feel like it helps to clean yeah. up the mind that's maybe just a me thing and then also a lot of my Ooh. outs for 2024 were obsessively tracking ovulation because ttc problems rushing again we want to slow down when we're able to fear of failure don't be afraid to try new things let go of fear because you know what if you don't try you'll never know and it's completely okay to fail at something comparison is a huge thing for me focusing on me my you know own that. watering my own it. grass not looking at other people's yards focus on you and your own growth letting go of people in your life that do not serve you that do not bring you joy that do not reciprocate the love and thoughtfulness that you give and the last out for 2024 is overcompensating knowing that you are enough and a lot of these are all tied together journaling focusing on gratitude, meditating, moving your body. Um, I definitely want to start eating more fruits and vegetables this year. I have Shut a up. very hard time with that. I take Shut vitamins up. and sneak greens into smoothies, but like that's a big thing for me this year. And that's going to kind of tie everything together because I feel, I just feel like you this is the year where I really want to green. focus on my overall wellness. And 2023 was a great starting point, especially because I've got my continual fitness down. But now there's other ways I want to really round out being my best self in 2024 and having my overall health just tie into one big, beautiful circle. So please know if you're watching this video and you're also plus size, you are so worthy of, you know, feeling healthy and happy and health does not fit into, into one size, size. into one, box, into one size. category. You can so be happy and healthy in different in sizes. It looks different on a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I get flack for it all the time talking about it online, but I don't want it to hold me back because I'm very passionate about being a bigger person, going to the gym regularly, like I see my regulars at the gym and it feels so good to be like, Hey, like you, you are so deserving of having movement in your routine and you will feel better. And I know it's hard to start, but start with just taking a walk. You will feel better. Get some sunshine on your face because I feel like overall you're just going to feel the woman happier. Has I would love to know what kind of health and people wellness people routines you're bringing into 2024 and what you learned in 2023. Uh, so leave it in the comments and we can chat. But again, thank you to Copilot for sponsoring this video. And honestly, thank you to them for changing my life with fitness because it's been absolutely fantastic. Life. Again, click that link. You can get a 14 day free trial with your okay, own personal trainer. Enough. See that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Because Alex, Alex, Alex done got on my damn nerves. I swear to God. But anyways, y'all, this was Miss Learning to be Fearless Child. And girl, what the fuck ever. I mean, she says whatever she's saying in this video. But please remember that we watched her. We watched her ass 
every day in December because she dropped vlogs every single day. And every single day, she wanted to lay on her couch or was laying on her couch and watch some kind of show either by herself or, or with Bruno or, or with her, you know, husband. So I don't know, y'all. Y'all can tell me in the comments what y'all think about this video. I mean, Little Miss Mamas is really reaching with a lot of this shit because we know she doesn't, she doesn't do it. Alex, Alex, you're still coming into 2024, you know, shit, new year, same you, bitch. Anyways, y'all have a great day, all right? Y'all have a great day. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and share if you care, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.